G'day guys, Scotty here from the Hook and the Cook and welcome back to our channel. Tomorrow I'm taking my dad out fishing. We're going back to a spot where it all began for me, Shelly Beach down at Cronulla to fish for brim. I'm going over now to pump some nippers, so tomorrow morning we're all set to go. Okay, this is what we're looking for, guys. These are pink nippers. Now, they're a deadly species for many uh, species of fish. They work in the estuaries, they work along the rocks, and they also work deep sea. Now, Dad and I have been using these for many years off the rocks with great success on brim, drummer, trevally, and blackfish. So, hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, we can get out in the rocks, the two of us, and fish a spot that I I haven't fished for many years and Dad used to fish it all the time and uh, it's a favourite spot and we're going back to, to see how we go. So I'll keep going, get a heap of nippers, we want about 30 to 50 for a good session and then tomorrow morning hopefully we get a, amongst some nice fish. Okay I've got my nippers here that I pumped yesterday and this is the best way to keep them. Big foam box, just a little bit of water and uh, I bring a bottle of water home as well so I can give them a drink. About six to eight hours after I put them in here, drain it off and just give them a drink of fresh salt water. So Plenty of bait there for a really good session. All right, just coming around to Dad's now, see if he's ready. Should be standing out the front waiting for me, I would say. And there he is, standing there waiting. Looking forward to this, should be a good day. It's, uh, it's probably over 20 years since I fished this spot. Absolutely beautiful morning down at Shelley Park or Shelley Beach. Sun's uh, just about to uh, to come up, and uh, Dad's already got the jump on me. He's down there having a, a go already, and we're just fishing this little gutter down beside the pool.
Probably 20 years since I fished it there, maybe longer. And there's still some some quality brim around. Look how dark they are. Yeah, they're black. Black, yeah. So, there's our lunch. Yeah. From going outside the pool. And there's the other one I got. So they're not bad brim, eh? So I'm going to go back out the edge of that pool, see if we can get a few more. Dad's going to head over the other side, do another favourite little spot he used to fish. And you'll give that a try. I'm just coming down to Dad here. He's on the other side of the pool. And I think he's got a good brim on. Oh yeah, nice brim. Well done, how does that make you feel? Hey? Uh, <laughs> Shel Shelly Pete? Like old times, eh? Hey? Oh, fantastic, isn't it, eh? Hey? Still fishing as good as it ever did. Look at that for a brim. <laughs> well done. about fishing these spots is how easy it is and the limited amount of gear you need. Bait bucket for your bait to go in, pretty simple. And there's my tackle box. And in there I've just got some hooks and sinkers and you know keeps it very simple. That sits in there. And then of course I've got what we call a hungry bag. Now the hungry bag is just a simple bag you put over your shoulder. So if you get a fish, you've got somewhere to put him, especially when you're out on the edge of the pools. Um, you know, you lift a fish out, you, you, uh, you lose him, he's going to go back in the drink. So a nice bag to put a fish in is really good. And my old favourite, I've had this for a long time. I built this rod about 30 years ago. I mean, just restored it. And it's a nice long, long soft rod, nine pound line. And just fishing down to a number one with an O ball sitting on top, and then we're using yabbies, the ones we pumped yesterday at Main Bar. Just fishing out under the white water, and that's the brim. The brim do come in there and feed early morning or late afternoon. It can work, um, can work really well. Some of the brim we got today weren't too bad. They're not a, a bad run of brim. Like I said, I haven't fished this spot for 20 years and it's still producing good fish. Well, we've 
we've got a nice catch of brim, and shelly. So now it's time to clean them. And what we're going to do today, we're going to do some deep fried brim for lunch, hopefully. So I'm just going to scale my brim, take all the scales off. And it's nice doing this down by the water too, because you can rinse them really easy. Make sure you go up around the fins is important. backbone a bit of a scratch and then he's ready ready to give a rinse. So I'll go and rinse him. And there you have it, he's uh, nice and clean, ready to take home to cook. Well that was a fantastic morning down at Shelley Beach with Dad, fishing for brim. It brought back a lot of great memories. Now I'm going to show you a simple way to cook whole brim. It's something that Dad used to do for us on our family holidays away and everyone really enjoyed it deep fried brim. Okay, the first thing we need to do with our beautiful brim is to put them into some flour. But before I put them in the flour, I'm just going to season the flour just with a bit of salt and pepper. Like that. And then drop the brim in and just make sure you get an even coat of flour on them, both sides. Now you can put them straight into a plastic bag with some flour in a plastic bag, that's not a bad way to do it either, and just shake them up in the plastic bag. But I find in, for a whole fish, um, in a tray like this works quite well. And then lift him up and we're just going to drop him straight into the hot oil. Now don't just let him go straight away, just hold him and wave him back forward a few times. Make sure your oil's not too hot, that looks pretty good. And in he goes. The beauty of these little deep fries, you can set that temperature perfectly. Now he's looking good, I'll just check him by lifting him up. He's looking really good. Okay, so we've got some paper towel here on the plate. Just going to carefully lift him out. Look at that. Golden brown. And in my opinion, the best way to eat brim. So I'm just going to let him rest on a bit of paper towel. That'll uh, absorb some of the oil. I'll put him over here out of the way. And we'll get that second brim in. We'll dust him in the flour first. The same route, exactly the same as the first one. Lovely. All right, in he goes. Okay, I reckon our second brim is just about ready to come out. Now 
Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now the reason the brim have curled up a little bit is that they're so fresh. I mean these guys were swimming around this morning. I'll just put him on the, the paper and again let him drain and then Dad and I can enjoy a fantastic lunch. Well guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on the hook and the cook. Please subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we'll see you guys in the water next week. Cheers.